Good morning, folks. Quickly getting through these first stories, we got some major news to get to. Composite images overlapping here to deliver this view of the Ring Nebula, courtesy of Hubble. It's linked below. After calling for a weak Pacific hurricane season, NOAA gives the prediction for the Atlantic hurricane season, and it's major. If the high end of their ranges happens, it's not going to be a fun year. Well, since our first and only missed quake watch in 2013, the earthquake rubric is back hitting its target. After the 7 magnitude earthquake in Fiji kicked off the day yesterday, Joe Thorne, River God 21, and I briefly discussed the current quake watch factors in yesterday's comment section. Massive coronal hole up north, facing Earth, and an S3 level radiation storm. Those two factors were definitely worth a minor watch, but I had no idea just what we were in for. Around 1 a.m. Eastern Time, an 8.2 earthquake struck off the Russian coastline. There are buoys in event mode all over the North Pacific right now, but as of my check at 4.45 a.m. Eastern Time, there is no tsunami. Coming back to Fiji or Tonga or wherever they're claiming we took two very large earthquakes earlier in the day, pretty close to many of my friends there. California, first to eclipse the mid-5 range this year, nearly hit 6. I want to know if any of you felt that. And lastly, this is above average this far south near Antarctica. Quick recap of the last four days. The southern aspect of this corona hole faced Earth while geomagnetic instability dodged around, adding to a waning energetic flux. The minor watch produced four significant quakes in less than 24 hours. Same factors yesterday with the northern hold this time, a major level energetic event. Can't say we got four significant quakes because our rubric requires six magnitude, but still, a timed correlation at which I still marvel. Looking at the solar wind, you begin to realize that nothing was stable yesterday. We're taking a 100% speed ramp, two orders of magnitude on density, and nearly that on the plasma temperature below in green. At least the radiation storm is dying back down, Readings fading, but certainly not gone on the D region absorption prediction. Surely nobody forgets the M5 solar flare and CME from a few days ago, producing a brilliant flash and sending ejecta our way, expected to hit tonight. But since that flare, we've got nothing. Nada. Zip. That could change soon with large active regions turning towards Earth. Each has a beta polarity, trying to angle for power within the group. The northern spots appear well divided for now. Down south, I turn attention toward the northern edge of the left side. Magnetic mixing is close here, we'll have to keep watch. Sky watchers and those also tracking the planetary conjunctions for earthquakes. Mercury, Venus and Jupiter dancing in the sunset sky right now. They do plan on sticking around through the weekend as well. You're about to see a number of small but often breathtaking surface features on the earth facing disk, followed by some close ups of those and a hint at what's hiding just out of sight. Eyes open. No fear at 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.